Hey guys, today we're going to be using this as your speaker for your Apple TV. So in order to do that, all we have to do is go to our settings. In our settings, we have to look for our fifth option down here below where it says remotes and devices. Let's just tap right there to go into remotes and devices. So from here, we have to choose our third option where it says Bluetooth. Once we go into Bluetooth, we might see this. So make sure your Google Nest Mini is turned on and we're just gonna say, hey Google, pair. Got it, to connect, open Bluetooth settings and look for the device called bedroom speaker. So at this point, you might see two options or just one option. Don't worry about it. Just click on or tap on, I should say, on bedroom speaker. That's the speaker name of my Google Nest Mini. It could be anything else for you guys. So right now it should be paired. We're good to go. So right now any sound should be coming out of my Google Nest Mini. If for any reason you're not getting any audio feedback, that's okay. Right now I should be able to hear something when I'm moving these icons. However, let's just go right into settings. And if you're having any problems, like I mentioned, just go right into remotes and devices. And from there, just select Bluetooth. And from here, you guys will see your speaker, right? It should say connected. I'm just gonna go right into it. I'm gonna disconnect device. Okay, so audio connection lost, perfect. And what I'm gonna do, since it's saved, I didn't unpair it, I just disconnected it. I'm gonna pair it up again. So connect device. Well, I should say connect, not pair it up again. And at this point, hopefully it's working for you guys. So do it a second time, then go back. So you should be able to hear when you're moving around, there's that noise, right? Clicking noise. Hey Google, volume 60%. There we go. So that's a cool thing about this. You can't control it just with your voice. That's the main reason a lot of people get this. So right now I'm just going to play this video again. We drove over 4,000 kilometers and it took us. So as you guys can see, the volume's coming right out of it. Let me just, there we go. And it's working just fine. So right now the volume is coming out of my Google. So I can tell, hey Google, pause. And there we go. It actually even pauses the video itself. Hey Google, play. Or you can say, hey Google, volume 10%. So it turned down the volume. I can tell it, hey Google, turn up volume to 60%. Hey Google, pause. And there we go. So there is some lag when I'm doing that, but that's okay. Anyways, that's how you guys can hook up your Nest Mini to your Apple TV. It's not 100%, it does disconnect here and then. So don't. it's not 100% type of thing. So you might be able to play a few videos and then maybe the next day once you turn it on, it's already disconnected from Bluetooth. That just happens, that's how it is at this point in time. So it's not 100% there just yet. However, it does work pretty well. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.